Since 1976, Bob Green has been repairing typewriters for people here in the Valley and beyond. He shares his story with producer Tony Dunn and photographer Mark Langevin and explains why for him and his clients, the typewriter is both a passion and a tool for self-expression like no other, and one that will never go out of style. A computer has its place, but a typewriter requires you to think through the whole process. In other words, you gotta compile everything in your head and get it together, what you wanna do and how you're gonna do it before you even start. Writers, poets, and artists tend to appreciate the tactile experience, that, that, that physical aspect of it. It's coming from your body, which is natural, onto a key on a typewriter and the end product is going to be a character on some paper. There's several processes in that experience that only a writer and an artist appreciate. You're using your natural senses and most importantly thinking. My part in this whole thing is that I get the joy of, I'm more of an engineer. I was the fix-it guy in the house out of like seven kids because I, I love to do it. So I appreciate the fact that I make it possible for these people to do it, and I see the joy on their faces. I came from Georgia. I, moved, I migrated from the South. I was kind of dejected because I couldn't find a job, and I saw a bunch of people my age standing out in front of a building. It was a training center. They gave me an aptitude test, and they said, you could be a court stenographer, which I didn't know what it was, or a typewriter guy. I take typewriters. I didn't know what a I didn't know what a typewriter was, although I hadn't used one. And then I went to the school that they had. They gave you a stipend. I loved it. I loved it. I went to school. I got my GED, and I came out here to go to UMass. And in that, during that time, it, I may help su supplement my income by repairing typewriters. And it's dawned on me that oh. You got a skill. You're in the typewriter place. Everybody need one. So I just opened up in the store. That was in 75, 76 when I started. All the customers know is that when they push a key, they want a printed character, right? My job is to understand what goes on between here and there. From this key to the typeface, there's a whole lot of parts in between Little parts is formed and shaped just the right. You can't be off a little bit. So I'm fascinated over that stuff. I, I just love it. So although a writer don't appreciate that aspect of it like I do, that's my calling. So I appreciate the writers and the artists calling. We complement each other. James Baldwin and many other writers, famous and not so famous, use my services and still do. They care so much about the connection they're making with what they're doing and the concentration that it requires and they like that experience. They don't care about correction. They just let it flow. Just pretend that you're playing a piano so it's a snap, not a push. And people have a tendency to write better when it's like talking to someone. You gotta tell them like it is. Come on, listen, this is the way it is. That's what they do on a typewriter. It's self-expression, unencumbered by anything or anybody. This is the way I feel. I am me, and here it is. There's some people have preferences in terms of shape, styles, colors, and as you can see, they, they are beautiful. You can't look at a computer and go, wow. It doesn't cause that emotion, that, those feelings. I know I got to sell almost when I, I watch the body language and the facial expression. I'll start looking for a case because I know I, they're going to carry it out, you know. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is, this is awesome. <laughs> Creation is something that people look at and go, wow, and they want to see more. That's, that's why these won't go out of style. There's going to always be a group of people that want to create. So uh, I'm 69 now, and I don't think I'll be doing anything else. You know, <laughs> people come in, they see what I do, and they go like, "I used to use that. 
my, in my grandma's basement, in my granddad's basement. They'll go back and they'll find it and they'll come back. Can you restore this? It has memories. You can't put a, you can't quantify that. You can't put a price on that. Doing this work, to me, has the same kind of burning inspiration that a writer or a poet or an artist has. They want to create. And if a writer didn't have an instrument to write on, I don't think they will because they couldn't be them. So it helps me in two ways. It helps me to make a living, but I also feel like I'm making a contribution to somebody else finding themselves and doing what they want to do.